Good morning everyone, my name is Owen Patrick, a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer, that QuickBooks chat on the internet, and also Head of Accounts here at Boffix. And today, well, we're going back to a day in the life of, and this time it's day in the life of an accountant. Now, it's early in the morning, we're just about to take the puppy for a little wander, um, and then once we've done that, we've got two interviews today, so that'll be interesting to see how they go, followed by two meetings with clients and what else have we got today uh, a technical um showcase and we need to go to make sure we've got everything set up for speaking part we've got next week um and general work as well so the idea is i'm going to take you with me today see exactly how it's going i'm going to start the day right as always um most importantly taking the little puppy out for a wonder hello hello and once that get some breakfast little workout, you know, get yourself ready for the day. Um, today's also Microsoft's um, Surface event, so I'll definitely be keeping an eye on that one. I do like to make sure that I'm up to date with what's going on in the world of technology, so if there's anything that, you know, might be released that might help the team or myself or whatever, it's going to be like that. So definitely going to keep an eye on that one. It'll be an interesting day. Um, the diary's already full up, so it's going to be tricky to find a time to do actual work work. But we'll get there. We've got some um, some work that needs to get done, some reviews that need to get done for today. Um, and I know my emails have already started to start to build up. With the interviews I got in the morning, that's normally the time I get to clear my emails. So we're going to have to be a bit more creative of when we're going to go and clear those emails, make sure they're working properly. Um, and also, and with it being a Wednesday, we also have the opportunity for us to go in and do our work in progress meeting, so our WIP, as we call it. And that's basically where we look and see where all of our deadlines are, make sure everything's all in, in hand, make sure the clients are being looked after, um, and we discuss as a team if there's any issues or anything like that. There's a really important meeting, that one. Um, I'm not going to be able to make it for all of it, but I'm definitely going to jump in towards the end just to support the team as I can. Um, finally... So the final bit before I go actually is just making sure or asking your guys' opinion in terms of how you find this sort of content. Um, I'm thinking of possibly looking at maybe doing two videos a week for this channel. Well, the idea is I, I release on a Tuesday my normal training tips, um, kind of my normal content on Tuesday. And then maybe on a Thursday is more the vloggy type um, ones or reactions to or something a little bit more little bit less trainee less kind of standard and more kind of free form a little bit so i'm thinking about that if it's something that i can quickly just put together like now where it's literally sit down for five minutes in front of a camera and talk about it and um, don't have to worry too much about setup and everything like that um then i think we might be onto a winner so yeah let's see how it goes anyway i need to go and take this one for a little wonder and i will see you guys in a moment I've now been walking for 10 minutes, maybe more. Um, and so far, there's my house. We've walked to here. It's typical, really, um, for our puppy this morning. She's decided that this is as far or as long or as quick as she wants, and this is the pace that she's going. Hopefully I haven't been able to go all the way around the pond <laughs> by the time that uh, the day starts. Um, 
because at this rate, those two interviews that I talked about, yeah, I'll probably miss both of those while I'm still stuck out here wandering with the puppy. Eh, could be worse things to do in life. Good view. Okay, update. We are now half an hour into the walk. And we've managed to turn a corner. So, yeah. We're going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. But she's happy. So, you know, we'll see. Okay, full disclosure at this point. So I had all intended to record the interview process and to show and explain exactly what's happened. But as you can see from a technical point of view, doesn't seem to have gone to plan. Fair not though, I'm gonna talk you through and reenact exactly what happened. You see picture of the scene, it's just like any other interview, but due to the pandemic and actually working better for ourselves, we've started to conduct a lot more remote now, what that means is the interview itself is all conducted via Microsoft Teams, and it gives us an opportunity to do a lot more interviews in a lot less amount of time, making it far more efficient. And actually, we've found that we haven't lost out much in terms of trying to make sure that we get the right candidate. We seem to be able to not only go to further away because we can offer that remote opportunity for people, but it also gives us the opportunity to really think about um, and ask, ask questions um, about them. So it's, it's worked really, really well for us actually. Now, the inter two interviews that we had, both of them came across really, really well. We're going for an AAT slash business services apprentice at this point. So it was for an apprentice position um, and we were able to interview them in quite um, quick succession. Um, I've actually had five interviews this week all planned out. Unfortunately, one of them didn't turn up, but with the other four, we've got some really good con candidates and we're actually we're thinking about making an offer for one of them pretty soon. So stay till the end of this video um, and we'll give you some insight to that. One of the things I do like about the whole idea of doing it remote though, is the candidate themselves feels so much more at home. There was a lot less of them feeling you know a little bit nervous or apprehensive you do get to see the real them and i think that's the best part about this completely um you get to see kind of what their working environment is going to be when they are working remotely um, and i think it really does give a great um, element of it okay so the next thing we're going to do now though is we're going to go head off and we're going to go to another meeting and this time around fingers crossed the footage is working as intended Okay, a few moments on now. We're now jumping into another meeting. So this is a tech check with QuickBooks themselves, um, ready and waiting for us to go and do a Ask the Expert form on Monday. So I'm just getting myself signed in. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you after the speed. Okay, so 
Okay, with that out of the way then, I now have some work to go on to with reviewing of uh, clients I've got to get done. And also I have one final meeting later today. I should have had two, but thankfully one's cancelled. Uh, one final meeting in about an hour or so time. And the idea with that particular meeting is we want to go and um, make sure everything's ready about thinking about going unlimited. So that'd be quite an interesting one to go forward on. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? I also should have a Derby branch committee meeting as well. So ICAW talking about um, how we can do things better for the local ICAW group. But finally, I need to get back to the interviewees that we had this morning um, and basically decide or at least go back to their college and decide if that would work and if that would be anything that we can uh, or if any of them would be a good fit for us so I need to go through that decision so yeah give me a few minutes to have a kind of decompress of what's everything going on and I'll catch you up later well hello there so it's been quite a few hours since the last time we touched on so we touched on that just going into a meeting with a client uh, all meetings everything else has been completed now which is good um, the way i always see it now is that i've gone through my day i've completed all my meetings gone through that now it's time to actually get on with some work so i've got some reviewing that i need to get done um so I, I possibly set up accounts i need to get completed as well i just need to look at the deadlines and stuff and see if i can push that back till tomorrow or not but if not i'll get that done tonight as well um and yeah, it's been quite an interesting day. I think mainly today it's all about, and, and we're still kind of going through the process of hiring and everything else to see if that's right. But but it is interesting, this new way of interviewing. Um, we do get to see quite a lot of uh, different aspects to it. And and both both candidates, that, well, I've seen three candidates today and both the first two that were on camera, um, brilliant, brilliant kind of showcasing how, how that they should be done. They were both prompt, they were there beforehand. Um, I, can't, I can't tell for sure, but I think one was um, in front of their computer while the other one was just on their phone, but that's not a problem. You know, they, it's all about accessibility these days and be able to make sure that, you know, we can get interviews in in, in maybe kind of the, the more unique areas. Um, and, and that also goes with um, the meeting we had as well with one of my uh, one of my clients. Um, she's a beautician, and she was in the middle of her actual beauty room, and she was actually sat on a chair and talking to me. And it, it, if we didn't have the remote access option, um, that would have been a you know, time out for having to figure out where we're going to meet, travel to there, go in through there. And, and this this meeting was more than more than capable of being conducted on remotely. And if anything. It means that kind of there was some follow-on work that needed to be done. Well, I've already done my end, the follow-on bits I needed to do, so that's already done and dusted. And her end as well, she's uh, able to straight away be able to find the documents she needs to get ready to send them over to me. So it does work, it has some real benefits. But that, that side, when it comes to interviewing, um, the bad side of it is that we, <laughs> we had one yesterday who just didn't turn up. You know, we were there waiting for the interview itself. Um, and that person didn't turn up. We phoned, we um, spoke to the college, we spoke to you know people who was involved, and unfortunately that didn't work. So you know you get, but you'll get that anyway. Um, but it is it is interesting, and you kind of see a little bit more of a different side to them as well. I feel like they're more relaxed. Um, we've definitely have interviews in the past where they've been very stern and very very rigid in terms of trying to, and, and it's been difficult trying to get that information out of them. Um, but I do find that you know these remote, remote interviews, when they're in their normal habitats, when they're more comfortable, um, does seem to give us um, a bit more of an insight. Um, there's no kind of worry about maybe it, you know, the interview going over or anything like that. We have plenty of time to go through things. Um, and yeah, I felt like it, it worked well. So yeah, it's been a really productive day today. Um, and I'm you know once we've got rid of all this these last couple of bits, I'm looking forward to shutting down the laptop and getting on with the day. So what time are we on? We are on 10 to 6. I'm hoping to finish around about 7, maybe half 7 today, which is pretty good. Um, and then kind of get, get myself some tea and everything and start thinking about, well, getting ready for tomorrow, basically. But no, it's uh, it's uh, going well. So yeah, that's hopefully that's been quite a nice little insight for you into a day in the life of uh, very much a meeting focused day today. 
We're going to try and make this a little bit more regular, but I do need your help. I need you to let me know down below if this is something A is worthwhile content, um, B is something that you find interesting. See, the plan for the channel is that we will continue on the Tuesday slot to keep that to training focused. Um, we'll keep putting the training on, and then these more vloggy type ones, um, I'm going to aim for a Thursday and, you know, it won't be every single week, um, but I'm going to try and aim for as many, many times as I can. And then just take you guys with me throughout that week and see if there's bits in there that we can bring in, bring out um, and go from there. So do let me know. I mean, we're going to release this one on, a, on, on our normal Tuesday slot. Um, I've got some really good content ideas that are coming up after this one. Um, we've got some really good um, elements and there's potential as well. One of the meetings I had there with QuickBox as well was potential or at least exploring the idea of collaborating with QuickBooks themselves. So that would be interesting. That would definitely give us some insight into uh, into something that, that, that we could look at. So yeah, let me know what this what it feels is. Is this, you know, are these the right length? Are they the right element to it? Um, hopefully it feels like we're getting um, some content that at least I would want to enjoy and that's what we're trying to get to. Still finding my feet when it comes to this vlogging mark. Um, what to vlog, what not to vlog. Um, but there's definitely some other aspects I want to go through, um, you know, actually going through a set of accounts, actually going through a proper meeting and try and see that instead of just having like we had that way, it's just kind of just seeing an overview, but let's get into that nitty gritty about it as well. Um, we're also bringing on or looking by the sounds of it, bringing on a new member of staff. So um, subject to them being happy with it and everything, do really want to get the idea of blogging that idea as well of, um, you know, what it's like to bring a new member of staff on these days, you know, getting through that new new aspect and everything that goes with it. So, yeah, interesting times. Very interesting times, to be honest. Um, we're, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, 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 we're we going to be pushing on. Tomorrow, I've got a couple of PNCs, so they're potential new clients. Um, so that's, that's always an interesting chat. Um, I love talking to new clients, especially when it's clients where there's elements that we can really get involved in and, and talking about there. Uh, we've got a couple of debriefs tomorrow as well. I did a webinar for ICAW a couple of days ago, so we're gonna kind of see how that went and you know how we can improve it, them sort of things. Um, and we've got some other um, debriefs coming on Monday as well. So, you know, we've got quite a quite an active week coming up this week. Editor Aaron here. So I thought before we do wrap up and leave today's vlog, um, I thought it'd be a good time to give you an update of what happened with the interview process. And it's a pretty interesting one. So during the interview process, we were able to find the candidate that we thought was absolutely perfect for the role. We went and offered them the position. Um, and it was interesting as to what happened next. You see, what normally happens is you offer them the role, they will then make a decision on that role and go from there. And if they have got kind of other people that they're, uh, or other interviews that they're looking at or other companies that they're considering, then it can get into a bit of negotiation or it could be a case that we're just not the right fit for them. Absolutely fine. But in this case, we felt like we were the right fit. It, it definitely seemed like the, but that way in the interview, definitely seemed that way based on the conversation we had with the college and the feedback we got their end. Um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to complete that particular employee in and bring that employee on. Um, and the reason might surprise you. You see, for us, we are really lucky that we can offer a hybrid solution. So that idea that we can actually go and we can give our people or our employees the opportunity to work from both home and office, um, it actually turned out that that was one of the sticking points. Because we knew from a salary point of view, it was all going to be very standard. Um, we were paying basically an apprentice salary and we were going we to look to um, bring them on on the standard apprenticeship route. So all the salary and everything was always going to be okay. Um, but no, it was the hybrid working conditions that was the sticking point. So interestingly, it does seem that we're now at that point where we're already going to have to consider what hybrid working position or working conditions are going to be like and how that's going to affect the ability for us to bring on new talent. Because from our point of view, we said that minimum of one day a week would be in the office, um, subject to business needs, we might need to bring you in more. And also, we had to consider about the fact that from our point of view, at the very beginning, from a training aspect, we would require 
um, every person who, who comes through the door basically to have three months or so in the office almost exclusively so we were saying four days a week in one day a week remote and it was that four days in one day remote at the very beginning which was the sticking point for this particular candidate and I thought that was really interesting so it's going to be something we're going to have to think about as a business and it's going to be something a lot of businesses are going to have to think about because I think the remote working options and the hybrid options will now going forward form part of their overall remuneration package I thought that was really interesting so yeah very very strange but you know what this is um this is part of part of business we move on we find um, another candidate that you know might be a better fit for us a better fit for them and go from there so we're going to be interviewing next week as well uh, maybe even the week after um until we find someone suitable but yeah i thought that was a real interesting insight there into the way that the um industry is going in terms of recruiting back to where well, i could hand you back to my future Again, I'm going to hand you back to my past self as we do the outro and everything else. But again, please uh, do let us know below in the comments. Is this something that you feel is good content for you guys? You know, is it worthwhile me doing this on a semi-regular, but as a bonus show, if you like, on the channel? Um, and making sure that we continue to deliver the training as well. Because that's one thing I'm a little bit concerned about, that we've, uh, we, we move away from the training aspect, which is what this channel is all about. So let me know below. Uh, all feedback is always welcome. Um, brilliant. Okay. So with that, then I'm going to leave it here for this week's vlog. Um, if I do have anything else, I'll put them in on the uh, quick and go camera. So just keep to the end of this video if there is anything else. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye. As always, it's been a pleasure to do this video for you. As you know, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jazz. And again, please do let me know below if this content is worthwhile or not, because obviously, um, as much as I love doing it, we need to make sure that for the channel, it's the right thing to do. So let me know how it goes. Let me know your thoughts below. And no doubt we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Even if we stay in bed, my heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want it na 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 na. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.